um, studying in Nigeria can be very difficult and sometimes if you're admitted you know to study the course of your choice in Nigeria you really don't know when you're gonna graduate because of series of you know strike and sometimes the school can close and can open up can close up can open up and uh, sometimes you know lecturers you know collect bribe from you just for you to pass the subject and also if you're a girl sometimes you know lecturer will have to tell you to sleep with them for you to pass your course so you can see there are so many disadvantages you know why you know foreigners you know um, choose to study abroad <laughs> My name is Prince Keanu and today in this video I'm going to be explaining to you why I choose to study dentistry in the Philippines. So I want you guys to really stay tuned and um, enjoy this video. But before I continue, if you know you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. Turn on your notification bell so that you can be able to get future video when I upload. And finally, don't forget to like and don't forget to also comment on what you really think about this video. So without no further ado, I want you guys to please stay tuned and enjoy this video. So um, firstly, I'm from um, Nigeria and uh, back in Nigeria, you know, um, studying dentistry or taking up medicine or maybe taking up any professional course in Nigeria is really very difficult. And if uh, you finally, you know, get admitted into the university, it really takes time. Sometimes you have to, you know, have some connection. You have to bribe some people in the country just for you to, you know, just study uh, the course of your choice. Uh, so, you know, I was schooling in the University of Abuja and um, I took up a course, they call it a remedial study. So I was, you know, hoping that, you know, after the one year program, you know, I'll be uh, fully admitted to take up maybe uh, maybe something very close to medicine, that microbiology or industrial chemistry. So I um, mean, after the one-year program, you know, I waited for my result and I found that you know I was given statistics. Uh, I was given a uh, I was given the admission to study B.Sc. statistics in um, University of Abuja, and uh, I'm not really someone who's really very good at maths a lot. I'm not good at calculation at all. So, you know, um, I didn't really have a choice. So, you know, my mom and my dad just, just said, okay, fine, you need to, you know, um, study the statistics and, you know, you try to see, uh, to write a jump examination. Jump examination is like an exam you need to write for you to be, you know, admitted into um, the university or probably you want to, you know, take any course of your choice. So, you know, I was, I was, I took up first year, you know, I started first year, you know, first year was quite interesting. So the next year I took up uh, a jump um, exam. I passed, you know, and I chose two schools. And still, even with my good cut of mark, even when I even took the post UME, you know, I wasn't really given admission until, you know, I finished four years and I graduated. So, you know, I told my mom, okay, I want to take up medicine, you know, but I don't really feel like, you know, taking up medicine in Nigeria would be a better choice. So, you know, I, I checked, you know, other schools in, um, in Russia, you know, I checked other schools in Poland and also uh, Ukraine and I tried to check the tuition fees, you know, I mean, it was really very expensive. I think um, one of the schools I actually selected was a Saratov State University that's in Russia and uh, the tuition fee was around five to six thousand dollars and that's if you really want to be taught in English but if you want to be taught in Russian you have to like you know go for like a year program you know to study the Russian language and also um, the tuition fee is three thousand five hundred so I didn't actually want to go through you know those um, stress uh, I applied for the school and in the process of me you know applying for the school there's a friend of mine you know who knew my brother and also was staying in the Philippines you know he said um there's a school in the Philippines and um, if you like to study medicine, you know, quite, if you really want to study medicine or any course of your choice, you know, you can apply. The tuition fee is very, very um, cheap and very affordable. And, you know, he said Philippines. And for me, what came to my mind was like, uh, Philippines, I've never really heard about the Philippines at all. I don't even know where Philippines come from. I've never really heard. So I thought actually Philippines was Philippians and the Bible. So, you know, I have to go on like a very small, extensive research and I got to understand that, you know, Philippines is a country and, um, and some other stuff like that. I had to really, you know, inquire about the Philippines. So that brings me to the reason why I choose to study dentistry in the Philippines. Um, studying in Nigeria can be very difficult. And sometimes if you're admitted, you know, to study the course of your choice in Nigeria, you really don't know when you're gonna graduate because of series of you know strike and sometimes the school can close and can open up can close up can open up and uh, sometimes you know lecturers you know collect bribe from you just for you to pass the subject and also 
if you're a girl sometimes you know lecturer will have to tell you to sleep with them for you to pass their course so you can see there are so many disadvantage you know why you know foreigners you know um, choose to study abroad but here in the Philippines the standard of education is um, high class standard of education and also the tuition fee is uh, not very expensive and also if you finally or eventually graduate in the Philippines and you plan on um, working abroad the process of you know you securing a job overseas is very easy the process is very very easy not like in Nigeria that you know uh, even though you study and you graduate with a very good result and you you plan on you know applying to work abroad uh, the process is really very hard uh, because you know uh, you have to write some series of examination just for you to prove that it's you that graduated with that um, um, Safiko with that degree but in the Philippines um, uh, when it comes to education standard I think Philippines really meets the Western education standard that's why you see like um, so many Filipinos who studied some of the medical professional course if they upload to work in any country of their choice the process in which they pass through or they go through when you know uh, applying for those job processes uh, for those job uh, overseas it's not very stressful compared to the fact that you know if you're in Nigeria and you study any course uh, probably you took up nursing or you took up uh, medicine or you took up you know any professional medical course um, sometimes if you go to all these western countries you have to you know pass through some like two or three years program just for you to be um, um, accepted to work in that um, hospital or in that um, establishment I'm not saying studying in Nigeria is not possible. What I mean to say, like, studying in Nigeria is very stressful, but you're gonna graduate because there are so many people who have graduated from Nigeria and are making very good impact all over the whole world. Um, but what I mean to say is, like, um, studying in Nigeria, you just need to be very patient, you know? Uh, because in Nigeria, education is very complicated, so for you to really uh, get used to the standard of education you need to be very very patient so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I hope you guys you know really learned something from this video but before I end this video please consider subscribing turn on your notification bell so that you can be able to get future videos when I upload and finally don't forget to also like and comment on what you think about this video so without no further ado I want you guys to really stay tuned and in uh